Tommy Tellerico Studios. You'd like to hear a new story? Oh, very well, where shall we begin? The stronger the bard is, the more damage he can inflict with melee weapons. Rhythm allows the bard to play magical tunes with greater skill, enhancing the statistics of summoned creatures. A high vitality will increase the bard's health, making him more difficult to defeat in battle. Allows the bard to equip and use two-handed weapons. It had come to this at last. One man, a poet and a rogue, with no friends to speak of, no one to mourn his passing. Should it come to that? Even those beside him are no more boon companions than bond servants, summoned by sorcery and song, as cold and indifferent to him as the light of a wandering star. We've got to begin elsewhere. And not that long ago. A simple man he was, with a quick wit and a sharp tongue, an eye for the lasses, and a talent for keeping one step ahead of the law. Come to Houghton to play his tunes and make his way. He found himself standing outside the Drunken Rat, a public house owned by the widow Mary McCrary. The bard readied his instrument and prepared to ply his trade. Drop your black seeds and kill it. I'll save you, fair damsel. What a strapping man you are, to be saving me from that wee beastie. I happened to be wandering by when I heard your cries over the rumbling of my empty belly. You aren't hers, are you? No, but aren't you the sweet one for asking? Say, I've an idea. If you'd be willing to do a little job for me, I'd give you a good meal and a warm place to lay your head for the night. I'd be only too happy to handle anything you'd like to heave my way. Then it's a deal, for it's a wee rat problem I've got in me cellars, and if you could do away with them, I'd be ever so thankful. Rats, you say? In the cellar? How cliché of you, love. But I'll forgive you this once. You'll need a bigger sword than what you've got, in case you run into trouble. Oh, and, uh... My sword is quite big enough to handle any troubles you might have. So all your lads and lasses at eleven o'clock you stop for five short seconds. Remember, Charlie Moss. One, two, 
says he's not afraid of rats, you sure are procrastinating. If you are afraid, you can tell me. I won't have any interest in speaking with you any further, but you can tell me. Then the bard looted the chest which contained the widow's most precious... Wait a minute. Did I read that properly? You're stealing from her? I wouldn't call it stealing, exactly. I mean, people leave all kinds of things in chests, and they never seem to object when I help myself. Think of it as a public service. I mean, who knows how cluttered these chests might become if I didn't do my part to help clean them out. In hindsight, I'm surprised it took the bard this long to get his hands on Mary's chest. Quest complete. All hail the bard, rat killer, and rodent bane, who has bravely made the cellars once again safe for buxom barmaids and wanton widows. Or has he? Ah! Ah! The bard, finding himself weak in flame, dashed up the stairs towards the safest of heaven. go at him with this. You better hope I've cooled off when I return, or you're next.
the hell are you? How'd you get down here? Look here, laddie, don't be concerning yourself with such things right now. I'm here to help you with your rat problem. Any brute can swing a sword. If you really want to slay that hairy beastie, try playing this tune on that loot of yours. Go on, clear off out of it. I've no use for you. I'm not offering to go with you, laddie. I'm offering you a bit of song and magic that'll bring you back in one piece. Great. So now the rat gets dinner and a show. If it's so bloody powerful, use it yourself and save me the trouble. Would that I could. But I'm not a man of action like yourself. <laughs> so do yourself a favour and take a little charity when it's offered, my boy. Done. Show me what you got. Before you head down there and face that huge rat, I'd like to be sure that you know your business. I know what I'm doing, old man. I... Rat killer and rodent bane, who's bravely made the cellar... How about you tell the story and leave the sarcastic patronising to me, OK? Go back to where you came from and leave the fighting to those who've got the guts for it. I've plenty of guts, my lady, which is why you needn't trouble. Save it for the half wits. That was quite. What did I tell you, lad? You hooked him and cooked him. Thanks to that song you gave me. You're welcome, boy. -o. Mm, sounds a little dangerous to me. I don't care much for trow. I think I'll pass. Come now, boy. -o. What's a little danger when compared? Who is she? She's beautiful. I'll take the amulet, old man, and, uh, what were you saying about... Next. Well now, you're a spry little thing. I could do with a friend. Care to throw him with me? Oh. 
Over here. So you're the fellow what's been chasing through Houghton with your rats and lightning spiders, eh? All I'm after is songs and silver, and I've no mind to break the laws in getting them. That's fine. My job is to be keeping the peace, collecting the taxes, and fending off the Kunal Trow. Respect that, and you're welcome to stay in Houghton as long as you please. Otherwise, you'll find yourself in my jail. back again. Go kill a rat, you rogue. It's all you're good for. Pardon me. The bard, having slain the random wolf, found that it had digested not only the contents of a small treasury, but also various household goods. Well, wait, am I, am I reading that correctly? This can't be right. You'd be surprised. I find all kinds of things inside these beasties. Do I ever tell you about the time I killed this rat and out popped an entire chest? Get to the good part. has a subtle effect on many aspects of the Bard's adventures. Allows
Another victory for me. painful. Am I good or what? The stronger the bard is, the more damage he can inflict with melee weapons. A high dexterity allows the bard to inflict greater damage with ranged weapons. Luck has a subtle effect on many aspects of the bard's adventures. Rhythm allows the bard to play magical tunes with greater skill.
Well now, who have we here, eh? He must be the fella who's been chasing all over, putting the touch on the locals with that shocking beast of yours. You must be Banafi. I've been sent here about a tune you might be willing to part with. Now it just so happens that I don't know a wee song, and if you do me a little favour, I might be willing to part with it. All right, let's hear this favour then. I've got a friend in the forest jail by the name of Kettle Swart. Spring him free for me and you'll get your song. You don't have to worry about any guards at the jail. They've been chased off by the Kunal Trow. I can't help you with their patrols. 